morning, welcome back to my carving shed. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a baguette style kind of technique uh, to use in your carvings. Uh, works best around a design. I'll show you here in a second. I am gonna be using a jaw, um, a mandible from a cow for this example, just because I didn't have any um, suitable skulls lying around uh, to use as an example for this carving. Now all you're gonna need is some type of rotary tool. I use a Dremel 4000 and some ball burrs. You're gonna need about three, four, five or so different sizes, uh, ranging from a small ball burr to a little bit larger. You'll see here uh, in a second what we're gonna use that for. Now I already have a design sketched out and carved on the mandible here, as you can see. And with the baguette style uh, like stippling, um, what this does is it puts the focus on a particular area of the carving. So if if you do this like on Instagram on like a photo or something like that, basically it blurs the area around the focal point. So that's kind of the effect uh, that, we, that we're going for with the stippling. So for example here, the focal point is going to be this uh, tree and you're going to start with the smallest size ball burr. Um, if you're using Dremel bits, that's going to be a number 105 and we'll just kind of trace uh, around the design. Now that we have the first layer of stippling around the design, we're gonna move up to the next size of the ball burr and then just kind of fade it into that first layer of stippling and make another kind of halo around that. That's it. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but it really adds uh, kind of the next level up as far as adding depth uh, and perception to a carving. It just really focuses. I mean, when you look at it, it looks as if the outside edges are blurred, but it's not. Anyhow, I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to ask in the comments below. I would love to try and help out. Um, I got another video coming out next Monday as well, so stay tuned for that. Uh, do let me know what you're working on. I love seeing what you guys are doing. And thanks for following along. Please subscribe if you have not. Got a bunch of other stuff coming out soon. And uh, I'll stick up some photos here in a second of this one as well as another one I did with that same uh, baguette uh, stippling type of thing. So thanks for watching, guys. Do appreciate it.